Hey dudes, welcome back! Chain Dance Games, we're back in Game Dev Tycoon! Oh, yes! Oh, it's been a while, I've been kind of busy. Maybe? maybe? No? Combination of procrastinating and busy. This past week or so, it's been really busy. My little brother just graduated from high school. Really proud of him. Uh, to celebrate, my folks rented a beach house nearby. Yes, I live in Florida, so beach houses are nearby. But uh, they rented one for the week, and we're, they we're all staying there as a family. We had a party, and we're doing stuff together to celebrate my brother's graduation. Anyways, I've been out of my house for the past week. I'm only at home right now because I have college classes, and that requires me to go home and use my computer. Well, to do my homework anyways. Anyways, let's get this boat on the show, shall we? Oh, Q-Tip's gonna scream at me like he watches my videos. <laughs> right? Q-Tip, you watch my videos, don't you? <laughs> Alright, let's click to continue. Oh man, it's been a while. I don't even remember. Alright, we got into the office. We hired Grace May. Are we doing anything? No, just burning money. Alright, so we have 117 research points. Can we do anything with that? Let's... Can we... Can we train Grace? Let's train... Want to create hit games, world class? Yep. If you want to create hit games and have a world class team, then training is important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better and to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It's useful to have a mix of specialists and all arounders on your team and have at least one design specialist and one technology specialist. Alright. So, each of these costs 5 research points and $15,000, not that big a deal, uh, but it doesn't say what it gives you. I mean, I'm assuming the game design for pirates gives you design tree points, um, and code incomplete, I'm assuming gives you technology, I'm not sure about the other ones. I'm assuming don't repeat yourself increases your speed. Uh, game dev gems might be all around. And make make me think probably gives you research points, huh? So let's try an all around one. Boom. Seems the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. That's fine. So she's training. I'll train myself as well. No, we'll research something. Um, new topic: casual games, marketing, gamepad, steering wheel, joystick, simple cutscenes. Oh. Simple cutscenes. We'll do sim simple cutscenes. Here we go. Boom! Yes! Is music looping? I believe it's looping. Oh, look at it. She's getting design and technology. That's exactly what we need. Completed simple cutscenes. Today, Nintendo announced. <coughs> Excuse me. Today, Ninvento announced the much-anticipated successor to the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with a state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics card and sound. Graphics card, graphics and sound. It's simply super, and we've decided... <laughs> that's why we decided to call it the Super TES. Oh, yes. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems they will not be disappointed. Alrighty then. Well, that reminds me. I, I went to record Game Dev Tycoon yesterday, but it said there was an update, and I couldn't figure out, like, they don't have a normal way of updating Ga Game Dev Tycoon, which is understandable as they're uh, an indie game, but uh, you have to find, like, the, the original link that you used to download the game, and that will, like, re-download a new download wizard thing with the latest updates, and, like, God has God gifted me this game, so I had to like go through my Skype messages, my Skype history, and look for that link. It was a big pain in the butt. Let's see here. Let's develop a new game, shall we? Pew! What do we want to... Let's pick a topic. Uh, no, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I believe I can research... No, no, no. You research. New topic. Comedy? Law? Game dev? I want to do like a sim. One of my IRL friends suggested that I make a sim game. 
and I wanted to follow up with that, but I can't research sim yet. That's kind of... I thought I already had it. Huh. Oh, well, we'll do law. Star research! Yes! Um... Well, I don't want to start anything with just Grace May, so I guess I can have her research something as well. New topic. Time travel? <gasps> yes! Time travel. Boom. Go. 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 Time travel. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Ace Pants have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? Uh, they're not hurting anybody. That's all let them be. I mean, if they, they start selling it, you know, making money, I would stop them. But... Alright, we researched law. Researched. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of the Ace Pants fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Chain Pants Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad to be part of the fan community. Oh yeah, you gained 282 fans, smiley face. Mm. Alright, so we've completed time travel. Let's immediately develop a time travel game, because time travel's awesome. We'll call it... Back to the pants. Yes. Want it to be for everyone? Uh, we'll figure that out. Um, it will be an adventure time travel game. Yes. An adventure time travel game for... Gameling? No. Oh, yes. Okay, no Oasis. So we'll make it targeted towards mature audiences because the Vein Oasis is targeted towards mature, if I remember correctly. Pick Game Engine, Chain Pants Ultra, let's go! 2D Graphics V2, I'll do it! Oh, yes. Alright, so it's a time travel adventure game. We're going to want the quests to be phenomenal. The engine doesn't have to be great, but the quests just, yes. Absolutely quests in an adventure game. Yes, yes, yes. We want linear story and save games. Yes. Boom. Start making them dots, people. There we go. No. Stop making bugs. Today, the new game platform Super TES by Ninvento has been released. Huzzah! From time to time, your employees need to recharge the batteries and go on vacation. Aw, oh, you can tell that employees need to rest when their efficiency steadily decreases. To give them a holiday, just click on them and select send on vacation. Freaking Grace, you lazy bum. Needs vacation all the time. Demanding sleep and days off. Health benefits. <laughs> Minimum wage. What is this heresy? <laughs> time travel and adventure. We're going to need level design to be just absolutely awesome. AI doesn't need to be top notch. Dialogue should be pretty good. Let's boom. Grace, just keep working. Lazy, inefficient bum these old ass computers. Alright, so keep in mind every, during every development stage that it's time travel and adventure. A lot of people are confused about these bars. They're like, oh, what if you just increase all these bars all the way? It will make a perfect game, but if you look at the bottom here, this is what the bars mean. It's your time allocation. So no matter what, during each development stage, you'll be spending the same amount of time. It's just that these sliders determine how much of that time you spend on each one. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's interesting. If you turn this down, like, this turns at 50%. Interesting. Anyways, um... Graphics don't need to be awesome. World design, yes. Sound doesn't need to be awesome. I'll do it! Let's go! Oh man, the technology is really hurting in this game. In Back to the Pants, but design is great. Get all these bugs out of here. You guys suck. Bugs? Come on. Get some more design points. Get rid of those bugs. Anything else? No? Oh, wait, one more. No, one more bug? Get rid of the bug! You suck. God dang it. Alright. 2916. Boom. New topic. New combo. It should be a great combo. Yes, indeed it is. It's time travel, mother trucker. Do we get any levels up? 2D Graphics V2 is level 2! Woo! 
let's release Back to the Pants. Boom. First reviews for a newly released game, Back to the Pants. Came in. What? No. No. No! Uninspiring. Why? I thought, no. I thought Back to the Pants would be good. They achieved a great balance between technology and design. What? It had way more design than it did technology. God dang it. Okay, by Game Hero. Has this moments by all games. Freaking all games. Son of a bitch. Gracie, Grace make Get on vacation. Get out of here, you inefficient piece of crap. Back to the Pants is not selling fantastically, but... Let's see. Let's train. Now let's research. Spend some of these research points, huh? Marketing? Let's do it. Marketing. Boom. Oh, the sales aren't, aren't too bad. I mean, they're not fantastic, but doing better than I thought. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Vani, a company known for General Electronics, has presented a prototype called the Play System. Oh, the PlayStation. Apparently, Vani has collaborated with Invento, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles, to develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. Ah. This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. If I remember correctly, this actually happened in real life. Like, um, Sony and Nintendo collaborated to make the very first PlayStation, which is essentially just a Super Nintendo that ran on CDs instead of cartridges. That was the original idea. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Vani and Ninvento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Ninvento announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it that the distribution, distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Nintendo handling over much of the control to Vani. This seems to be the end of the play system. As far as I'm aware, that is actually historically correct. But, um, let's see. We will take on one contract work, and then I think we will wrap this episode up for today. Let's see. Design some game characters. That'll be easy peasy. Let's do it. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. If anybody scratches their head, they're fired. Just putting that out there. In two months, the TES will be taken off the market. Well, that's a bummer. Easy. All right, 15K to the account. That's awesome. Pause this. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. I'm just, just going to keep on trucking because I love this game. And evidently, you guys are loving this series. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from this. Thank you so much. Comment below with suggestions for a game or a game title, and I may or may not take it. I mean, I'm only, I'm only human. I'm very forgetful human as well. <laughs> so don't be offended if I don't use your suggestion. I probably forgot. Uh, the only reason I remembered to do the Sim one was because I know the person who suggested it in real life. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I have to go get ready for school. Uh, I will catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.